I don't have any money right now. Give me a yes if you can imagine that feeling. I want you to just process this from a consciousness awareness standpoint. Just imagine how you feel in that situation. You're like, oh, man, dang. God dang it. I wish I could. Well, if you have a family bank, then the problem's solved. You just go borrow, you go borrow $250 and you pay it back uh, on Friday. Now, this requires a specific type of culture to be able to maintain this sort of economic relationship. The culture must be one where you are, are not sort of doing what a lot of the world has done. What See, here's what happens in the real world. What happens in the real world is you end up just being screwed or you end up doing something that you don't want to do, selling something that you don't want to sell, or maybe selling some booty or something just to get the, two, I'm kidding, just to get the $250, which, which, which isn't that big of a deal if you could make today Friday instead of whatever day it is already, right? So, so, so that's what happens, right? Because you don't have smoothing, you don't have uh, some sort of institutional framework to protect you from those situations. So, so that's what you see in the world. You see it all the time. You see people struggle financially, go through tremendous amounts of financial trauma just because of timing, just because the, the money did not arrive at the same time the money was needed. Now, here's a different world. In a different world where, uh, where, where you have a culture built on preparation, where you're always conscious and you're thinking at some point something's going to go wrong and we need to be ready for that. Uh, you have a world of conservatism, financial conservatism, meaning the protection of resources, conserving the resources. We're not going to trick off the family money buying Gucci and jewelry and Louis. We're not trying to imitate the rappers. No, we need to preserve these resources because that is our financial protection. We're protecting ourselves from all of the demons that arise when you are struggling. That's when, because remember, when you're struggling financially, that's when a lot of bad things happen. That's when you do stuff you normally wouldn't do because you're, you're struggling for money, right? So, so what else? Uh, in this culture, uh, there's all, oh, here's another one. Here's another good one. There's a culture of community. In order for this to work, you got to have people in the family that care about somebody other than themselves. Selfishness does not work in this model. If I think that the, the alpha and the omega of my life is Boyce Watkins, then I cannot participate in this process because I'm going to take all my money and I'm going to keep it in my pocket, take care of me, uh, maybe take care of mine. That's it. Screw you, screw your family, screw your situation. I don't care. Okay. So, so the village has to exist. And a lot of families, the village don't exist. Some of y'all are scared to loan money to your own damn relatives. I get it. I'm not blaming you. I'm not mad at you for that. I understand because this gets to my fourth point of why of what is required. What's required is that when you borrow the money from the family bank, you better pay it back. You better pay it back. And the reason I bring that up is because I bet you that if I ask you, give me a yes if you've ever loaned money to somebody that you cared about and they did not pay you back or they came back with an excuse or they disappeared and or, or got mad at you because you asked for your own damn money back. How the hell are you going to get mad at me because I'm asking for money back that I that, that I gave you? You you now you treat me like crap. Now I done lost a friend. I oh I done lost a loved one, and I lost my money. You a son of a bitch right now. That's a terrible thing to do to another person. So when you borrow from the family bank, and you don't pay it back, in my book you are a bank robber. That's what you are. You rob the family bank and there's nothing lower. I'm sorry. Forgive me for being judgmental here, but I'm about to be Judge Judy up in here. When you steal from family, there's nothing lower you can do than to steal from family. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, you steal from white folks. I'm don't give me wrong. that's that ain't right either. But that ain't the same as stealing from your brother or your sister. So at the end of the day, if you follow those basic ideas where where we plan for the future, we care about each other, and we aren't gonna financially traumatize one another then you can have a bank in your own family. Any family can have their own bank. And the beauty of it is that if you form a family investment club, or another way to call it, you call it an investment club. An investment club can operate just like a bank without all the regulations. If you've ever seen the, the thousands of pages that constitute the Dodd-Frank regulations required to run a bank, it will make your head explode. You can't really run a bank unless you're a banker. That's why Lil Yachty and ain't no rapper going to run a damn bank. 
The only way a rapper could run a bank is if he had the intelligence that unfortunately 99% of the rappers don't have. And it's not because they just really stupid. It's, it's, it may, it, it could be, uh, it's also because, because they're young. A lot of them are really young, right? So I get it. You're young. You don't know nothing yet. So, but, but if you really wanted to do it and you were a person of means that said, you know what? I want to open a bank. You know what you better do? You better go get some bankers, not, not some flashy rappers, not your homeboys, get you some real bankers <clears throat> that understand banking culture that are going to sit there and go through the books and do all the little calculations to make sure you remain within the the framework of all of the, the numerous regulations that are required to run a bank in this country. It is not a simple task. But to me, if you're smart and efficient, you say, you know what? We don't actually have to go and do all that stuff anyway. I mean, sure, uh, starting a bank, starting the Bank of Boyce or something would be a really cool project and everybody would get excited about it. But I don't want to start the Bank of Boyce. The Bank of Boyce has been in existence for over a decade. That's a pack. All that is is a pile of resources that we have available as a family where anybody in my circle, anybody I'm accountable for, if you need me to support you through and get you through a tough situation, we got you. But you better pay it back because if you don't pay it back, then your credit score goes down.